Hey everybody, we need an handicapping thoroughbred race on the afternoon of July the 5th. And this is my Equibase Winter Circle Major Track Report. Since this is, this is a uh, national holiday today, folks, we do have racing from both Belmont Park and Hollywood Park to talk about. Churchill Downs is not racing. Let's go to the Race 9 feature at Belmont, 5.17 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Better Roses Handicap. Seven furlongs on the dirt, grade three. Phillies and mares, three years old and up. Race for a stakes purse of $150,000. Contenders number six, rightly so. Number one, Qualia. Number eight, McVictory. And number two, Devil by Design. Number six, rightly so, takes a class drop of five units this afternoon. Has hit the board in power run fashion in five straight winning twice in this recent streak of racing consistency. Number one, Qualia has hit the board in five straight, winning four, including a power run win in his last start. Jockey Rajiv Marad, trainer Robert Robato, send her poster for the extended holiday weekend feature. They've hit the board with an impressive 70% of their entries. Saddle is the team to date. Race 9 summary, number 6, rightly so. Tops of my contenders list, which also includes number 1, Qualia. Number 8, McVictory. And number 2, Devil by Design. 6182 in the night today from Belmont Park. The Grade 3, $150,000 Bed o Roses handicap. Hollywood Park racing today, race 8, 4, 37 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Hollywood Juvenile Stakes. Six furlongs on Hollywood's Cushion Track, grade three. Two-year-olds race for a stakes purse of $100,000. Contenders number six, J.P.'s Gusto. Number eight, Western Mood. Number four, Rivers Chapel. And number two, Marvin's Magic. Number six, J.P.'s Gusto qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony as both the overall speed and pace profile later. In this stakes field, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt, comes off a four and a half length power run win in his last start, facing slightly better company in that race today, that in that race than he'll face in this field today. Jockey Joseph Talamo was in his irons for that win, which produced a positive 440% return on investment in the process. He's back today for a second ride gunning for back to back circle trips. Number eight, Western Mood, comes off a maiden-breaking win in his first asking, goes to the post with the skills of the jockey-trainer tandem of Joel Rosario and Jerry Hollendorfer in his corner. They've hit the board with 59% of more than 100 entries saddled as a team to date. Race eight, summary, number six, J.P.'s Gusto. Tops my contenders list, which also includes number eight, Western Mood, number four, Rivers Chapel, and number two, Marvin's Magic, 6842, and the eighth today from Hollywood Park, the $100,000 Hollywood Juvenile Stakes. Have a couple bonus long shots as usual for you. Let's go to Finger, Nut, Finger Lakes in upstate New York, race two. Speed honors in this maiden field are shared by a pair of six to one shots, number two, D Bob, and number eight, Devil by Sandy. Colonial Downs, Virginia, racing today as well. Race six, the six to one shot. Number five, Miss Drew Silla, takes a slight class drop in the overall speed leader in this claiming field today, racing at today's distance of a mile on the turf. So, handicapping stake races from both Belmont Park and Hollywood Park on an extended uh, Memorial <laughs> Independence Day weekend. Rick Needham reminding you as always to please. Bet with your head, not over it.